uh, I, I, everything that has been said and can possibly have been said has already said it, but I do want to point out that uh, we listen very carefully to the United States Army. They're the ones who need the close air support. They're the ones that uh, are in grave danger without it. And General Odierno told the committee that the A-10 performed very, very well and that he preferred the A-10 to other platforms in providing close air support. General Odierno also said that the A-10 he preferred over other platforms was obvious and that the A-10, quote, has the guns, has the maneuverability, has the visibility that's important to provide those close air support for our soldiers. None of us here could have, could have said it better. And then I'd like to just quote Secretary Gates. He said, in the 40 years since Vietnam, we have a perfect record in predicting where we will use military force next. We've never gotten it right. If you think about it, from Grenada to Haiti to Somalia to Panama to Iraq, twice to Afghanistan to Libya, twice the Balkans and so on. And I continue to quote Secretary Gates, in not one of those cases did we have any hint six months ahead of the start of hostil hostilities that we were going to have military forces in those places. Uh, obviously, if we did away with the A-10 capability, it would reduce um, dramatically the ability of the United States Army and Marine Corps from receiving what is a critical element in the battlefield equation. I want to thank all of my colleagues for their support. I am confident that we will succeed in uh, adopting the House uh, provision, and um, I'm very uh, appreciative of the fact that there is such widespread support, particularly from present and former members of the United States military. Thank you.